Good evening and welcome to our children's choir program. What a blessing it is to work with all of these children. Just look at the numbers tonight. It is so exciting to have them leading in our worship. I have just a couple of announcements. If you have not picked up your Christmas ornaments that you ordered, the Central Baptist window, they are in the chapel this evening and they are labeled in alphabetical order. It would be very easy for you to find your ornament if you want to go after the program tonight. One person, our pastor, has asked me for permission to make photos tonight. No one else has asked permission for photos, so if you don't mind, would you please hold your, especially flash photography in your photos till the end of our service tonight? We will have the children all stand at the end and pose for a nice picture for you at the end of the program. And then after our program, please everyone join us for a pizza dinner downstairs in the fellowship hall. It would be our honor to visit with you and have you there. I want to say a special thanks to these children's choir leaders that you see sitting down front here. It's a very special group of ladies who help us teach and train these children. And to our handbell ringers and to Julia, we say a special thank you for helping with the children. Our children's choir program is actually growing the next set, the next generation of church leaders, church staff, pastors, and choir members. And it's just a pleasure tonight to watch them lead us in worship. So now as we have our prelude, prepare your hearts for worship with the children. In the hills there is music, in the winter night a bright shining star. Come and see, come and see. Sheep and oxen gather round, shepherds arrive, marvel and say. Come and see, come and see. Townsfolk gather as the news spreads, children lift their lanterns to behold. Come and see, come and see, come and see the Savior born for you.
Today we celebrate the third Sunday of Advent, the Sunday of joy. The prophets not only proclaimed that God would send his son into the world, but they also foretold, foretold the rejoicing that would accompany his coming. In Isaiah we read, how beautiful are those who bring the great news of peace and salvation, the news that the God of Israel reigns. Break into joyous song, for the Lord, Lord has comforted his people and has redeemed them. All the earth will see the salvation of our God. Tonight we light the candle of hope. We also relight the candle of peace. We now relight the candle of joy. Our hearts are filled with God's gift of joy. Let us pray. Dear Father, we thank you for the beauty that surrounds us this night. We thank you for the voices and songs that uplift our spirits. We rejoice in the advent of your Son. May our lives be filled, filled with joy as we proclaim his truth to, do, to those around us each day. Amen. A long time ago, in the city of Nazareth, 
there was a woman named Mary. Mary was promised to marry a man named Joseph. One day, an angel from God came and talked to Mary. The angel said to Mary, you are going to have a baby, and he will be the son of God. Now, Joseph wasn't sure what to do when he heard that Mary was going to have a baby. So one night while he was asleep, the angel came to talk to Joseph too. The angel said, Joseph, Mary is going to have a baby from God. You should marry her and take care of her and the baby. You will name the baby Jesus. a few shepherd and three wise men who came to the manger stall. There in the stable the baby so sweet was held in his mother's arms. And high in the sky a big star shone so bright an angel sang this song. Come 
Come and see Jesus. Come and see love. He is your Savior, your King from above. Come and see Jesus, God's holy Son. Jesus is waiting to give you His love. So come, everyone. There in that small, humble Bethlehem town, dear baby Jesus was born. Mary, his mother, was smiling with joy, making sure he was happy and warm. Sleeping near donkey and oxen that night, heaven protected his way. His birthday is Christmas, and still you can hear the angels singing today. Come receive Jesus, come receive love. He is your Savior, your King from above. Come receive Jesus, God's holy Son. Jesus is waiting to give you his love, so come everyone. I receive Jesus, I receive love. He is my Savior, my King from above. I receive Jesus, God's holy Son. He is the way and the truth and the life. He loves everyone. Come receive Jesus. God's holy son, Jesus is waiting to give you his love, so come everyone, come receive Jesus. Later, the emperor in Rome, Caesar Augustus, made it a law that everyone had to go to their own hometown to be counted and listed. So Joseph and Mary went from the town of Nazareth to Bethlehem, also known as the town of David. Joseph went there because he belonged to the family line of David. Bethlehem was crowded with so many people that there was no room for them in the inn. So Mary and Joseph stayed in a stable, a place for animals to stay warm and dry. While Joseph and Mary were there, the time came for the baby to be born. She gave birth to her first baby, a son. She wrapped baby Jesus in large strips of cloth. Then she placed him in a manger.
nearby keeping watch over their sheep through the night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the God shone around them. They were very afraid. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all the people. Today in Bethlehem, the Savior Christ has been born. Here is how you will know I'm telling you the truth. You will find a baby wrapped in soft cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly there was an angel, a large group of angels from heaven, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace to those he is pleased with on earth. When the angels had left, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby. The baby Jesus was lying in a manger. Certain poor 
After the shepherds had seen him, they told everyone. They reported what the angel had said about this child. All who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary kept all these things like a secret treasure in her heart. She thought about them over and over. The shepherds returned. They gave glory and praise to God. Everything they had seen and heard was just as they had been told. Sometime after Jesus' birth, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. They asked, where is the child who has been born to be king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose. Now we have come to worship him. When they did not find him there, a, the star appeared guiding them to Bethlehem. When they saw the star shining brightly over the place where the child was, they were filled with joy. The wise men went to the house. There they saw the child with his mother Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. Then they saw. The, then they opened their treasures. They gave him gold, frankincense, and myrrh.
Please join me in the responsive reading. Let us worship and adore him, Christ the Lord. Then let us go and tell the whole world the good news. Jesus Christ is born. Go and tell, go and tell. The King of Kings and the promised Messiah lies in a lowly manger. Go and tell, go and tell. God has sent his Son, a Savior is born for you. Go and tell, Jesus Christ is born.
nights like tonight give us an opportunity to thank a whole lot of people. The first people I want to thank this evening are our children. You don't know it yet, but you've given me a wonderful gift. Tonight, for the very first time, I got to sit in the pews of Central Baptist Church and worship, and it was wonderful. Thank you for leading us in worship. I also want to thank the parents who have brought their children faithfully to our Wednesday night children's programs. It's a wonderful gift that you give to us when you entrust your children uh, to our care on Wednesday nights and entrust their spiritual formation uh, to us. We take our responsibility to teach them the tenets of our faith through music on Wednesday nights very seriously. And we're grateful for your uh, commitment to that program as well. I want to thank our adult musicians, our music volunteer choir leaders, uh, Julia Hooster, and most importantly, Ann Chronic for putting a wonderful evening of music and Christmas celebration together. If there's ever been an appropriate time to applaud and worship, this is it. Thank you guys very much. <laughs> we will, following the benediction, ask everybody to stay in place and we'll allow you to take pictures of the whole assembled group together. After the benediction, also, you're all invited downstairs for pizza. We hope you'll stay for that. Right now, though, I hope you will bow with me for a benediction. Depart now in peace, encouraged by the enthusiasm of children, filled with the joy of Christmas, and secure in the knowledge that through God's work in Bethlehem, you are being redeemed. Amen. Please stay, and we'll take some pictures. Thank you.